Oh, just like that? Just like that. <laughs> you startled me. <laughs> I was looking at the fish finder. River rats, good morning and Merry Christmas. Skip and I are out here with the gift that keeps on giving. That is Micah Burkhart. Real talk, I've been trying to say super cringy things in the intros to try and pick at him and get at him, but he's like impervious to those types of things. So moral of the story is we've gotten along pretty well so far, but we're out here, we're gonna try to get us a real Christmas present. And for me, that's a big blubber-lipped catfish. So let's go. I can't believe you're, you're venturing out like this. Skip gets cold very easily and it's Fairly chilly. We, I brought a heater though. He's got a heater. He's got his bone. He's got a, a jacket to wrap himself up in. A windshield. Skip, you got a lot of things going for you. But he just wants to eat Skip Jack. Which I don't remember if I've said it. I probably have. His full name is Skip Jack Herring. <laughs> and he is a fan. Yeah, we're gonna drag some baits and we're definitely gonna snag a bunch of them here. But that's okay. I think old Blubber Lips lives here. I just don't know if he's hungry yet. I noticed earlier this week, like as things warmed up, the bite got better and better. But first thing in the morning, it started out slow. Yeah. I'm hoping that's not the case today, but. You're calling it? Okay. Twist my arm, I guess. Dibs on the skipjack head. Yeah, that's alright. I already, already got enough. Oh, you do? Yeah. Put oh. one on that down rock. Nice. I mean, yeah, we've been playing around. Like, the last couple of days, just this little, you know, learning What do they say? If you do the same old thing, you'll get the same old results. Yeah. We have been doing the exact opposite of the same old thing. And we've been getting different results. They've just been more negative than positive. <laughs> we'll, we'll get her dialed in one of these days, unless we don't. That's, that is a possibility. Um, I don't know, I get bored. I need to try things. Yeah, doing the same thing all the time. Yeah, catching the same old 100 pounder all the time gets old. Let's try to get a new 100 pounder, a fresh one. We ready to start moving? Right behind you. Oops, sorry. Sorry to alarm everyone. I'm just over here kicking things around. One mailbox in the water. What's your favorite part about Christmas, Micah? Well, anymore, to see the, the light on my kid's face. Outside of that, um, you know, obviously the, for me, the reason for the season, I guess. Yeah. I like drinking beer with my dad on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, we're about to ride right on that ledge. Put it right in their big ugly faces. I just realized I forgot to click that in gear, so it's it is a literal football field behind us. Lines are set. Hopefully it doesn't take them as long today as it has the last few mornings. Ooh, there's a nice one right under us. A couple of them, two of them. Those big fish. Give them about three or four minutes. We really want them in. I hope so. Yeah, we're right on that drop off. Oh, there's all kinds of bait and cats and cats and bait down there. Just some pigs wallowing, wallowing in the mud down there. Your yellow rod should be right on the base of that drop. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, boys. Dinner's ready. Oh, it's breakfast time. We got some waffles. Well, we got the bacon. We got the sausage. No waffles. I bet a cat, there'd be a catfish that would eat a waffle. Yeah. I used turkey, did a Thanksgiving video, which I don't ever hardly do like holiday themed videos, but Monday's gonna be Christmas, I believe. And I'll put a video out on Christmas. Uh, so hopefully we catch some fish and I do that. Oh! There's a, a fish. What do you need me to do? Just stand here and look pretty? Cause I'm not good at that. The standing I got down. I don't know if I'm fighting him or the board. He's pulling the boat backwards. You're free to step back if you need to. And I'll pop that board for you. Mm-hmm. You broke his will. I suppose I can get the net ready. Good. He's, right. I say he's still pulling the boat backwards. Oh yeah, he's a bruiser. It's a Micah Burkhart sized catfish <laughs> right there. Yeah, he's a he's a decent one. He was a dark one. He still is. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> Come on, Come on buddy. Yep. yep. Yeah. Yeah, we've been trying a whole bunch of different stuff and we go back to tried and true old faithful and here's a dandy cat in the boat. <laughs> Heck yeah. That'll work. So you got a muddy belly? All over. He, he was just wallowing in it. I was saying he's on that, uh, he was right there on that ledge where it comes down. But what he was probably doing is what they typically do when that sun comes up is he's starting to move up. Mm -hmm. That's where we're, that's where he, that's what he was doing. Eating crappies. Oh, yeah. That's a good Christmas present right there. <laughs> With the loon in the background yeah. too? Yeah. That's pretty neat. Nice yeah. fish, man. See, this is what happens, y'all, when you put me back in my element. <laughs> you get him. This is a good one here. What we figure? I bet he's probably 25. Every bit of it. Every bit of it. If, if he ain't 30, he's close. Look at the head on that, dude. He's a good one. This head might even be bigger than yours. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I surely do appreciate it, buddy. We'll get you back where you came from so you can finish doing what you're doing. Thank you. It's faster than it's been. It really is. It's been a slow start in the morning. I just just needed the lucky guy in here, I guess. Cool. We are on the board. Bam. Just like that. Did you find a piece of skipjack, you disgusting creature? <laughs> I think I'm kind of, I might be done giving him boat snacks because uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the bait chunks are his boat snacks. Coffee always tastes good, but it tastes better on a cold, crisp morning when you are uh, put a dandy in the boat. I'll speed her up a smidge for you. All right, good start. Hell yes. Need about four or five more like that and it'd be a good day. We might get them. It's amazing how much warm it is on the channel. It's almost 55. Skip, how's that bait juice? I'm not even gonna have to power. I'm not even gonna have to power wash my cooler. See, I felt bad catching all the fish this whole trip, so I made sure that your board, your outside <laughs> board, went right in his face. Well, like I said, I was after quality, not quantity. 
Yeah, that's wh that's why I put him. Uh, oh, okay. Put your bait in front I, of his I face. Surely, I surely appreciate that. Yeah, I figured it is the least I could do after you watching me catch fish for two days straight. <laughs> <laughs> that again okay fine <laughs> i'll put you in front of a flathead this next one please yeah catch a flathead dragon is the ultimate one about what did you say the state record was 80. <laughs> all right what do you want about 87 pounds yes you want to talk about me losing my mind if we put an 87 in the boat i would lose my mind yeah. As bad as I would want to catch it, I would. I think I'd rather you catch it than me. Not by a lot, but maybe just by a smidge. <laughs> because it's like, you're Mr. State Record. Yeah. And then you'd be like, big time Mr. State Record. You'd be in the Guinness Book of World Records, man. They would come do an article on you. But it was, after I got it all done, I got the cooler set. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I should just keep putting you in front of these fish. I expect a real good tip, Micah. <laughs> Not near as big as that last one, but... Fish in the boat. I'll get the net ready just in case he wakes up. You said you got 80 pound later. He's sailing on you. Oh, I see him. I got the net out, so I'm gonna use it. Oh, <laughs> about scooted him over the top. He's not a bad one. No, no. He pulled it down decent. Figured it wasn't a two pounder. Yeah. Skip, uh, you gotta let Skip lick his tail. Here you go, Skip. Oh, <laughs> too early for that, apparently. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, got us another one on the board. Not as big as the last one, but he'll, he'll do. It's almost a fiddler. He just graduated from being a fiddler. Oh, I got a bite. I couldn't believe it. Forgot what it looked like. Right when I slowed the boat down. Skip, playing with fire there, bud. It's gonna be a long, cold day if you fall in. All I have is blue rags, so we'd be drying them off with the blue rags. Mono is so much different from braid. If I would've ripped it out of the rod holder like you did, mm -hmm. I would've ripped that hook right out of his mouth. Yeah, it's just, it's a... The stretch is so different. It's something, it's something I've always done. I used to do the whole reel down thing. I lost so many fish just doing that. Yeah. Well, it's, it's different, you know? That stretch of that mono, that set probably equates to a reel down. Like, it's probably very similar yeah. what happens at the end of the line. I've had, to, I've had to explain that a couple of times where people ask me why I do that fish in a circle hook. And I, you know, I tell them, I said, well, you got to think of it how much line you have out and the angle that line is at. Oh yeah, with the gotta, boards too. You gotta, you gotta clear that pretty quick. Mm-hmm. Well, up here, amigo. Come here. We'll just tuck you in right here. Got our footrest, cooler footrest. That's kind of nice. Nibble McNibble Pants is still up there. <laughs> You're going to come back and get the rib cage. It's so weird. Windy in the morning dies off. I know, right? It's usually the opposite. Mm -hmm. You're dead calm in the morning. Pick up throughout the day. Oh, just like that? Just like that. <laughs> you startled me. <laughs> I was looking at the fish finder. Is he a good one? Gotcha. Welcome to the Micah show. It's, and it's funny, 
because you were like, have you ever had one bite it while you're letting line out? <laughs> well, at least you didn't smack it, you know? Yeah. Come here. We'll assess as the situation progresses. He's fitting in. I'm just gonna swing him in. Oh yeah. Maybe a little bit bigger than Yeah. Yeah, what do you know about catching fish? <laughs> <laughs> you said you're after quality, now you're getting some quality and some quantity. There's pliers there if you decide you need them. And I mean just Oh yeah, he's at, he smoked. I say, man, I can't say enough about these triple thread hooks. They get them when they get them, and they pretty much always get them. <laughs> nice see, one. That fish is, see how muddy he is on the body? Mm-hmm. It's not near as bad as the last one. He's pooping a fish. he's pooping a little bit. You might have put your hand on it. <laughs> Holy cow! I even have a nibble. What is going on? Thank you. Sweet, keep them coming in the boat, Micah. <laughs> oh, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Oh, he popped up. No way. For no good reason. Yeah, yeah he's pulling drag too. He's getting to. Kind of bit like a, either cold blue or a flathead. Yeah, that was a good Because it was just. That's fishing. Oh well. I'm sure he was, he was stuck. I'm gonna bet, the more I think about that bite, that's what I think happened there. You gotta remember, Braid, the takedown's so much more violent. Well, that's, yeah, that's true too. That could've, the more I think about it, could've been like a tuned up nine pounder that I only got the bit. I think he was bigger than that. He might've been. The, the, just how quick it was, you know what I mean? I, I still think he was bigger than that. I could be wrong. I've had had that happen. Oh, that's not a nine pounder. <laughs> oh, he's sprinting at me. <laughs> there, we caught up with him finally. He is just sprinting. Well, we wanted one more at the spot and we get it. I don't know, because I haven't felt for sure the weight yet, because he's just screaming at the boat still. He's going to be wore out by the time he gets here. There's a little bit of weight. Yeah, I don't think he's big. Yeah, even those small fish will lay a rod over, man. Yeah. That's what I really appreciate about blues as much as anything. When they hit it, they just smack it. That bait's been gnawed on a while. Yeah, it does. You get it. Oh, yeah. You get it. He's not a bad one. No. It's no Micah Burkhart fish, but. He's still a decent one. I mean, he ain't no dink, you know. Appreciate him. Yeah. yeah, it has. This blue cat is a, uh, a track star. <laughs> he put his sprinting shoes on and ran all the way at the boat, which isn't a bad thing when he's 300 feet behind it. It's nice of Micah to let me catch one. This one snuck by all his rigs and got to mine. The Merry Christmas Catfish. Mm -hmm. It's not actually Christmas when I'm, I'm filming this, just for the record. But I think Christmas is on a Monday. Yeah. We're 170 feet from the drop. I should change baits on there, but we're almost done with this stretch, so we'll let her ride. Skip uh, this effectively clean the top of my cooler off. 
like that's our our sign to go appreciate that skip we're gonna go drag well some timber lose some gear hopefully i'll get more for christmas <laughs> you know what let's just screw it let's just get out of here between the wind and all the trees like if we didn't have any wind we could at least be a little more precise about it and weave and stuff, you know, but fish and trees in the wind sucks. That mild mess is over and we are in a new location, a new, trying some shallow stuff. Blue cat shallow. Well, blue cat shallow can be pretty darn shallow, but we're starting in 12. And we'll probably end when the weeds start or we run into the bank. And depending on how it goes, we might flip flop around and drift out of here or we might look for greener pastures. We'll see. Micah said he's excited. I'm definitely excited. Yeah. What's the shallowest blue cat you've probably ever caught? Or how about shallowest blue cat over 20 pounds? Uh, probably 15, 20 foot maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I always fish deep water, so that's not safe. The back bay was pretty much devoid of life. We had a few little nibbles, but we had to try, and that's kind of been the thing Mike and, I, but Mike and I have been doing since he came down here is not so much doing the things we know give us a really good chance of catching fish, but trying something completely different, because when you get that surprise and it works, it's like, I guess if we're going to be dorky and cliche, that's like the best Christmas present you could imagine. But we caught some fish. We had a good time, and that's the number one thing, at least on my end. I hope you had a good time watching this. If you did, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Merry Christmas. Hope to catch a giant.